Hello and welcome back to On Point Wargaming and today's video is kind of linked to um, a video I did not so long ago about speed painting my Falsham Jaeger. Recently I spent a bit too much time in 1944 and 1945 so it's time to pop back in time to 1940 and the invasion of France. I have a largely unpainted early war French army four bolt action so I thought it would be a good time to crack on with these. I'll be working on a, a five man infantry section, a sniper team and an anti-tank rifle team and the aim is to use a theory behind my Falschmjäger to get my friends to the table as quickly as possible. As with the Falschmjäger I'll be using a limited palette of colours and as with previous videos these are Vallejo but you can find conversion charts online. Uh, the colours I have chosen for my French are green brown, sunny skin tone, olive grey, chocolate brown, black, gunmetal grey and black brown. The washes will be, as usual, Citadel's Agrax Earth Shade and Norn Oil. As you can see from the picture that will follow, I've already made a very basic start and I've applied green brown across all the figures um, as the, for the uniform and I've used sunny skin tone to paint the hands and face. Next up is to use olive grey to paint the different webbing, packs and helmet. It's quite a bit to get on with, so I'm fully prepared with a cup of tea. I'm British. Uh, there's never a wrong time for tea and also raining blood by slayer that combination cannot be bettered i assure you righty i'm going to get cracking with the olive gray and i'll catch you all soon welcome back well much tea has been consumed and Slayer has been blasted out and I have all the packs, webbing and equipment painted. Um, with the uniform and the equipment painted, that's the majority of the, of the figures completed. So the next stage will be to paint the weapons. Uh, for this, I'll be using black brown for the rifles like I did with my Falschmjäger. Uh, I'll be painting the metallics um, or the anti-tank rifle at this stage as I don't want the wash to discolor the, uh, the metallics. So these will be painted, on, painted later on in the process. Um, I'll also use chocolate brown at this, this uh, stage of the process to paint the boots. Right, time to crack on and I'll catch you in a little bit. And I'm back again. Okay, so where am I up to? Well, the rifles and boots have been completed and I have more or less nine figures very, very close to completion. Um, as with the Falschmjäger, the next stage is to apply uh, a wash across the whole figure with Agrax Earthshade. Um, as, as with the Falschmjäger, this wash will, it will settle in uh, all the recesses and the creases of the uniform. Um, as you can see from the, from the, the, the pictures, the, the French infantry uh, are all wearing great coats um, and this is really good. The, the wash settles in the folds of the great coat and it gives it a really good um, a, a good look a good a good se sense of depth and, uh, and perspective um, before I apply the wash though what I'll do is go back in and tidy up any little mistakes or splashes that have occurred um, during the speed painting process I will then add, add the the, uh, the wash of our correct earth shade uh, wait for this to fully dry and then I'll start adding some basic highlights at that stage so I shall see you soon And so with that, the wash has fully dried and it's left some really nice shadows and depth in the recesses of the folds um, of the figure's uniforms and also the equipment. So with that, it's time to add the highlights. Uh, as with the Falschmjäger, I'm not gonna go overboard with the highlights as this defeats the purpose of getting these completed quickly. Uh, I'll simply be adding a dab of sunny skin tone to the green brown, olive gray, black brown and chocolate brown to highlight the relevant corresponding parts. Uh, with the flesh, I just use plain sunny skin tone. Uh, the Agrax Earth Shade will deepen the skin and sunny skin tone by itself is a, is, is a good paint to use just for the basic highlights. Righty, it's time for another brew and highlighting time. I'll catch you soon.
Welcome back once again, and so there we have it. All figures are done and completed. Um, as you can see from the, the photographs that will follow, I've completed all the metallic areas after the wash using a 50-50 mix of black and gunmetal grey. Wash with non-oil and then highlight with gunmetal grey. Um, all that's left to do uh, with these guys is to, is to base them and move on to the next batch. Um, just a quick a quick note on, on speed painting. Are these going to win any painting competitions? Absolutely not in the slightest. Do I have about another 30 to go? Yes, I do. Um, for me, it's not feasible to, to spend you know, vast amounts of time painting each figure individually. Um, that was the old me. Um, the new me is about getting the figures completed to a good tabletop standard that allows me to complete my projects in a, in a relatively short space of time. Um, sure, I could spend hours on each individual figure, um, adding every last bit of detail. Do I want to do that? Not particularly. While I like painting, I like throwing dice as well. And I have got plans for my early war French. Um, on the, the, the theme of early war, just a big shout out to um, Ken at The Eccentric Man and Travis at uh, Tabletop CP for reigniting my enthusiasm for all things early war. Uh, I'll pop links to both their channels in the description below and I would definitely recommend you check them out. They produce some fantastic content for Bolt Action, uh, Chain of Command and also Sharp Practice but I would definitely recommend checking out their YouTube channels in the near future. But I hope this video has provided some hints and tips again both for batch painting and for painting your own French army. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, just pop them in the comments section below. But until next time, as always, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.